Hey guys, it's Carnage6, and it has been another month, so it's time for another Horror Block unboxing. This time I'm going to try to keep it a little bit faster, because people said I talked too much in my last one, so... Hey, well, I'll try and shut up a little bit more. So, let's open it, and this is the uh, box for February, I believe. Let's see what we got this month. And of course, I am going to start off with what I always start off with, and that is the t-shirt. This time, it's a very classic t-shirt. As you can see, it is... I don't know if you can see that. I guess you can. It is the Bride of Frankenstein, and it says, Together Forever. It's kind of a, um... I would say, maybe, Valentine's Day-themed shirt. And that is pretty cool, if you like the classic Universal Monsters. Okay, so next, something is really uh, catching my eye, and it's this big fuzzy thing right here. What the hell is this? Um, yeah, I don't know what that is, so let's open it up and find out. Oh, and I see it is actually supposed to be a zombie virus plushie. Now, considering that I work in uh, a hospital, I know that they actually make plush uh, figures of all diseases. I know it's weird, but they actually do. They have like AIDS and, you know, uh, the common cold and the flu and like any virus you think. There's a company that makes plush figures of them. And I guess this is what this is. It's the zombie virus, except it's done as a plush figure. So that's interesting. That's definitely something you don't see every day. Next up, I'm going to take out, I do not know what this is, zombie containment unit. See that? I do not know what this is. Zombie emergency division one. Oh, okay. Reading the bottom, it says it's slime. So I'm not going to take this out because this is going to get all over the place. But basically, it's slime. They sell this, a similar kind of product like this for the Ninja Turtles figures. And that's like just a gooey, gelatinous kind of thing for you know you to play with and squish in your hand. I'm not going to open it because it's going to be too uh, messy right here. So, moving on, we have... Horror block, he's watching you. Oh, it's a slap watch, and it's actually made by Horror Block. I didn't know they made their own stuff, but apparently they do. And it's um, just some teeth there. That looks pretty cool. If you don't know, a slap watch is like you put it on your hand. I'm not gonna take it out, but you put it on your hand, and you go like that, and it slaps like the band slaps around you, so you don't have to like fumble with the little buckles and everything. So that's cool, and again, something you don't normally see. And this next thing, well, I usually do like getting movies in my horror block. Um, it's not a movie, but it's still pretty cool. It's actually a book, a full-size book, and it's Bitten. Can you see that? By Kelly Armstrong. So, um, I mean, I'm guessing it's like a vampire book. I'm not too into books, but it's that's pretty cool. I mean, books are pretty expensive. This is... Can I see the price? No, not really. But usually books are like, I don't know, like 20 bucks or something like that. 15, 20 bucks. So that's pretty cool. And finally, as with every month, there is a... Ugh, I can get it out. A uh, horror magazine. And this is Rue Morgue. If you can see that without me getting too much glare. Giant Monster Man, the return of Bert I. Gordon? I don't know. This is obviously some guy whose career I should know, but I don't. And here's some other stories. So again, this is really cool. Again, magazines cost about like 10 bucks now in Canada where I'm from. So it's always cool to have that. And that was it for this one. I, you know, it was, I would have liked a little bit more stuff in this, but I mean, you get a magazine, which is again, 10 bucks. You get the... The book, which is like maybe 15 bucks. 
So it was pretty much worth it. That plushie is probably, you know, pretty expensive if you buy it in the store. Uh, let's just take a look again. We have the card which tells you what everything comes with. And as you can see, it shows the watch on the front and the book, the plushie, the zombie slime, and the magazine. And of course, the t-shirt. So yeah, I think this is pretty cool. It's not the most exciting horror block I've ever gotten, but, you know, it's pretty decent for what you pay. Again, guys, I try to keep it a little bit more quicker this time. Do you like my longer ones where I blab on and on, or do you like these shorter ones? Let me know in the comments below, and until next month, I'll see ya.